Today and every day, we honor and lift up a Black woman who was and continues to be trailblazing, revolutionary, and visionary. Happy birthday, Dr. Rebecca Lee Crumpler. In 1864, Dr. Crumpler became the first Black American woman to graduate and earn a medical degree. In a world like today, where only 3% of physicians are African American or Black women, her story and her legacy is still so important and so meaningful. Thank you so much, Dr. Rebecca Crumpler, for fulfilling your calling to serve society as a medical physician. The barriers of intense racism and sexism that you overcame paved the journey for all women, especially Black women and women of African descent. Dr. Rebecca Crumpler's legacy represents fulfilling your goals no matter the obstacles presented and building pipeline programs to increase representation of women of color in medicine. The importance of educating the community so we can work together to have agency in our own health. Dr. Rebecca Lee Crumpler from her book of medical discourses. What we need today in every community is not a shrinking or flagging of womanly usefulness in this field of labor, but renewed and courageous readiness to do when and wherever duty calls. Legacy represents power. Just reflecting on all of her accomplishments and all of the adversity that she must have faced while pursuing her medical doctor degree is so empowering to me as a black woman pursuing medicine in this day and age because I know that if she overcame all the adversity that she was facing and she still achieved her goal of becoming a doctor of medicine that I can do the same. Perseverance, strength, and courage. Against the greatest odds as a black female in the 1800s, she prevailed to become a physician and an author. Dr. Crumpler motivates me to continue the marathon of encouraging young black women and men to pursue their dreams within healthcare, to advocate for the health of communities, and to strive to improve health equity. I see her legacy also as a reminder to us students here at U of H of our mission of addressing health disparities here in Third Ward and also in the surrounding communities. And I also see her legacy as, um, as an encouragement to us because this is so much bigger than just trying to pass exams or trying to do well on boards. It's about really putting in that effort to do well so that we can be equipped with the knowledge and skills to actually impact, um, impact our communities. Um, her story showed me the importance of mentorship. Um, her aunt, who was a nurse, inspired her to pursue medicine. The way that she also prioritized serving the underserved minority communities, um, offering medical care to um, recently freed slaves, um, was very powerful um, part of her legacy as well. And I know that racism is unfortunately still very prevalent in society today. Um, but like Dr. Crumpler, if I keep my eyes fixed on the greater good that I aim to contribute to and remain encouraged, Dr. Crumpler's legacy exemplified three main values we can all win from, perseverance, service, and sacrifice. She broke boundaries and didn't let her identity of being an African-American woman get in the way of serving those she saw were in need of healing. She overcame the criticism and doubt expressed by her colleagues and showed love to those she served. It represents perseverance. It represents defying the odds. It represents overcoming systemic racism and prejudice. It is black girl magic at its finest. It represents a phenomenal woman. It is one of the reasons why I am able to wear this white coat today. Dr. Crumpler's legacy is a testament to the connections that allow us to stand lifted on the shoulders of the Black women who have come before us. As we ready ourselves to serve our communities, and as we strive for justice and health equity, and as we also prepare our own shoulders so that we may continue to lift those who will come behind us. Her legacy has set in motion the demolition of barriers from access to care, to representation and practice, and even scholarship that women of color, including myself, bear the fruit of to this day. Therefore, on the day of February 8th, the birthday of Dr. Rebecca Lee Crumpler, it is only fitting that Black women physicians are observed and respected out of honor, esteem, and due appreciation for the distinction of Dr. Crumpler's legacy. This legacy is not in addition to my story. 
Her legacy is my story. I am Crumpler.